Hey everyone, Keener Corner here. We hope everyone had a great holiday last week. We're back from visiting family and friends with another round of micro grants, so let's get right into it. First up, we're giving a grant to BusyBox. BusyBox is an incredibly versatile software suite that combines over 300 common Unix utilities into a single compact executable file. It was originally created by Bruce Perrins in 1995. If you aren't familiar with his work, definitely check him out. His critiques of the current state of open source software are well worth a read and influence the licensing experiments we're trying here. At present, BusyBox has become the de facto standard core user space tool set for embedded Linux devices and Linux distribution installers. It provides tons of functionality while maintaining a remarkably small footprint of under one megabyte. BusyBox is an effective implementation of essential system commands and it's an invaluable tool. Next up, we're giving a grant to CryptPad, which is a comprehensive suite of end-to-end -end encrypted office tools. The project is great for secure collaborative workflows involving text editors, polls, Kanban boards, presentations, and spreadsheets. The combination of complete privacy with real-time collaboration is not something we've seen from many other projects. Fudo uses its suite of tools internally for all sorts of different things. We really appreciate how it combines robust security with user-friendly features, making it extremely useful for workflows where privacy and collaboration are paramount. Given CryptPad's consistent commitment to protecting user data while maintaining a high standard of functionality, we believe it thoroughly deserves support. We're also giving a grant to LibVips. This project is an exceptional image processing library with remarkable speed and minimal memory footprint, making it an indispensable tool for image processing. This grant was recommended by the Image team, which uses this library in their work. It's also used heavily within PhotoStructure, to which we have also previously given a grant. The team here relies on LibVips for its powerful features, which include its extensive support for various image formats, impressive array of operations covering everything from arithmetic to color processing, and its ability to handle complex image manipulations efficiently. Definitely check out this project if you're doing image processing work. Libraries in particular are often overlooked when it comes to funding for a variety of reasons, and we would like to give more grants to lesser known libraries. If you know of any other underappreciated libraries, please let us know in the comments below. Finally, we're giving a grant to IMHEX. IMHEX is a hex editor that includes a powerful custom data processing language and an intuitive interface that prioritizes developer comfort. A few of our teams use IMHEX in their workflow, and we especially appreciate its robust pattern language support, comprehensive data analysis capabilities, and excellent error handling features. IMHEX has become essential to many engineering processes and has provided significant contributions to the developer community, making it very deserving of funding. That's all we have for November. Please let us know in the comments below if there are any other projects you would like to see us fund in the future. Also, feel free to send us funding recommendations via email. Regrettably, we don't have time to respond to every grant application or funding recommendation that we get, but we do read all the emails sent to us, and these heavily influence our process for picking grants. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.